Hi everyone, this is the weather hazard briefing for Wednesday, May 17th from the National Weather Service office here in Pocatello, Idaho. We are going to continue our pattern today of uh, expecting more showers and thunderstorms as the day goes on. And again, temperatures keep warming up and we'll still see uh, more flooding that we're going to be keeping an eye on really as we go through the rest of this week into the weekend and well, really for the foreseeable future at this point as we continue to melt off some of the upper level snow up in the mountains still and it's all got to go somewhere. As far as uh, today, the showers and thunderstorms that we're expecting, uh, gusty winds about 45 to 50 miles per hour, some small hail possible with those once again. Coverage looks to be a little bit more uh, increased, at least as we get into this afternoon compared to yesterday afternoon. Again, those temperatures will continue to warm up with uh, some of us getting likely into the mid 80s, even potentially some upper 80s by the time we get to the weekend. So we'll talk about that a little bit more too. As far as satellite this morning goes, you can see some more of that moisture uh, working its way into the area from out west. Uh, an area of low pressure pretty much centered right on west central Idaho right now. Again, that's bringing in a little bit more of that energy for those showers and thunderstorms as uh, we go through the day today. Weather risk outlook grid looking very similar to the last couple of days with showers and thunderstorms being uh, the main flavor for us, and again, snow melts and flooding, especially in parts of the southeastern and eastern highlands there. Um, and then, of course, some more up in the Sun Valley and Haley areas. We'll talk a bit more about that when we get into some of our hydrographs later on. High temperatures today for most of us back into the 70s, a few mid upper 60s, farther north you go to some of the higher elevations, but overall still very warm for us. Wind gusts outside of any thunderstorm activity, generally 15, 20 miles per hour this afternoon. Here's a look at uh, one model's take of how that might play out as we go into the afternoon. But generally speaking, we start to see things picking up between about noon and 2 p.m. with some uh, increased activity there. Again, showers and thunderstorms start to pop up and will continue as we go into the afternoon and evening. And then um, hang around a little bit longer uh, comparatively to what we've seen over the last couple of days with more of that tapering off probably closer to about midnight or shortly after into very early Thursday morning. Speaking of Thursday, our temperatures in the afternoon, very similar to what we're expecting today. Still a lot of 70s out there. And wind gusts, again, not particularly breezy, but up to about 15 to 20 miles per hour in the afternoon. By the time we get to Friday, we finally start to see our temperatures creep back up a couple of degrees with more of us. Uh, hitting that 80 degree mark through parts of the Snake Plain in Magic Valley. And then those that were in the 60s likely getting back to about the low 70s. We'll continue to warm up a couple of degrees as we go into the weekend with uh, more of us into the low and mid 80s for afternoon highs on Saturday. And then uh, almost a repeat on Sunday. So very warm temperatures headed our way into this weekend again. So I'm going to make a run towards that 90 degree mark. We'll uh, see how the forecast trends hold over the next couple of days. So speaking of the flooding earlier, let's look at a couple of our hydrographs here. The Blackfoot River near the uh, reservoir near Henry there. Uh, that's come down a little bit over the last couple of days, kind of holding steady, but still in the minor flood stage. As we look at the Bear River near the Idaho-Wyoming border, Again, still in the minor flood stage. Again, we've got products out for all these. Um, Going to continue to see that rise a little bit. Again, as we see the warm-up with temperatures more so into the 70s and 80s across most of the area. We'll continue to melt that snow, which will be helping to increase these river levels. The Big Wood River at Haley, where again, we've got some uh, products out to cover this, but... Currently still in the minor flood stage, but just brushing up against the moderate flood stage. A reminder, there are a couple of uh, mandatory evacuations up in that area, so keep up to date on that with uh, local updates. Likely see more of the uh, river there get into and stay into the moderate flooding stage as we uh, go through the weekend and into early next week. So. That is expected to stay up for a while there. The Marsh Creek near McCammon, again, pretty much hanging out in the uh, action stage here, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Some of these, of course, could change too if you get a thunderstorm to move over some of these areas. 
Uh, you could see a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain out of some of those heavier thunderstorms. The Portneuf River at Topaz, checking in on that, still at the minor flood stage and expected to pretty much stay there for uh, the foreseeable future, at least through the weekend and into early next week. Again, slowly continuing to see uh, more of these river levels creeping up. So we're keeping an eye on those in addition to the ones that we've already got products out for and we uh, update those each day too. So we've got more showers and thunderstorms expected today. Gusty winds and some small hail with those gusts about to about 45, 50 miles per hour or so. Again, temperatures continuing to warm too. Most of us back into the 70s and 80s, some mid 80s into the weekend. And of course, continued flooding that we'll be keeping an eye on. As a reminder, we always appreciate any reports you can send us, whether that be of flooding or any storm reports. Pictures are great when you can do so safely. You can either email those to us, um, tag us in pictures and videos on social media. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always contact us in the same ways. Have a great day.